Today I'm going to give you guys a cool trick that's going to make burnishing leather just a little bit easier. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm always on the lookout for little hacks or tools that are going to make me more efficient in the shop. And I don't mean little gimmicky things that are going to make my work look cheap, but actual hacks that are going to help speed up the process but not have a negative effect on the end product. Ideally, they should make it look better. My Amazon burnishing machine is a really good example of something that has made my life easier. It's cut down on production time and actually increased the quality of my work. It did come with a bit of a learning curve, but once you get that down, it changes the game. If you wanna check out my first impressions video on the Amazon burnisher, I'll give you the link up here or down in the description, but maybe open it up in a new tab and just watch this video first since this video and that video will kind of go hand in hand. They're two things that are really gonna make your burnishing a lot easier. All right, so this burnishing hack doesn't really change what you would normally do. It just makes it easier and more convenient, kind of combines it into one easy step. I came across this idea on Instagram and I don't know who originally came up with this, but I have only seen Icky Leather doing it. And before I go any further, I just wanna say that Icky Leather is an awesome guy and an equally good leather worker. If you're not following this guy right now, you're doing yourself a disservice. So maybe just uh, click his uh, profile link down in the description and give him a follow. He's doing amazing work. Anyway, so I saw Icky experimenting with these empty markers and he was filling them with tokenol and water. And this is a guy who knows his edge work. He's one of the masters of the glass edge on leather. So I asked him about the markers and he said they work great. They speed things up, they do a good job, and he recommended grog markers. Naturally, I ignored him and I bought a Montana marker. These markers are legit. They feel solid. They come with this marble inside to help mix whatever you have inside there. And they're operated by this pushing on the felt tip here. It's kind of like a pump action, I guess you'd call it. And they also are not great for this application. They work, but having this pump action thing just isn't the greatest when you're working on leather edges. So I went and I bought the grog markers that Icky recommended in the first place. I'll drop the link in the description if you guys want to pick a couple of these things up. They're pretty cheap. I'm still going to hang on to the Montana marker. I've heard that these things work pretty good for uh, edge dyeing. So the grog pen is pretty similar, but it's different in one key way. It works by squeezing the marker to feed the felt tip and there's no pump action. The pen itself doesn't feel as tough as the Montana marker, but really it can't since you have to be able to squeeze it anyway. It's really easy to fill. Uh, first, we're just gonna make a 50-50 mix of tokenol and water. If it's a bit too thick, you can just thin it out with a little more water, but I found 50-50 works great. Pour that into the marker. I recommend using one of these devices. Now you just do your edges exactly how you think you would. Squeeze the pen, run it along the edge, and burnish it. Just make sure that you don't squeeze the pen too hard. If you dispense too much tokenol, then it is possible to get it on the grain side and it kind of, tokenol does this like staining type thing on the grain and it just doesn't look too great. I really like how easy using these pens makes it. I don't know if you can see there, but I've spent a lot of time putting tokenol on each little edge by hand and it's not, the end of the world but just this makes it so much easier to just brush it on and then you can start with your burnishing. I also like that it kind of skips the whole watering step on your leather although you could do it before you use the pens and that would work just fine too. Again the link to these pens is in the description below. I have linked the Montana marker. I would also recommend the Grog marker over the Montana but if you're like me and like to do things the hard way first, then by all means pick up the Montana and then pick up the Grog down the line. Any questions, drop them down below. If you haven't already seen my leather burnishing machine video, then go check that out. I linked it down in the description. These two things together make burnishing a breeze. It really isn't a hassle at all anymore. I've been practicing with the marker for a while now and even with the Montana, which isn't ideal for this, It's 
still a lot faster than doing it by hand. And that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.